Today I'm gonna show you how you can take ordinary curtains from Ikea, the Ritva curtains, and just bring them to a whole nother level. You'll need the curtains, scissors, thread to match, tape measure is optional, and then of course you're gonna need sewing needles. So when you open your curtains, what you're gonna find inside are the two panels and then some tie backs. I do not use these, I just simply toss them. So I'm gonna sew two panels together, just line up the top and just do a straight stitch all the way down. My window is 96 inches wide and so I'm gonna want two panels per side to give it a nice full look. When you get to the end of the panel, you're gonna notice it's gonna be slightly off. Do not worry about it, we're gonna hem the curtains anyway. When you flip over your panel, you're gonna notice where the rod pocket goes. That's where our pleat's gonna be. It is exactly seven inches wide and that's how we're gonna mark for each pleat. So all you're gonna do is fold it in half and then you're gonna create three small pleats. Just like that, so you're gonna create three little small ones. One, two, three. And you're gonna take a knotted needle and thread and from the back side of the curtain, that's where you're gonna start. So take your needle, start from the back side and this is gonna hide your knot from your thread. Pull all the way through and then you're gonna take your needle and go through all three pleats. Grab your needle from the back side, pull all the way through, and then you're gonna take your needle, go through all three pleats again towards you and pull. You're, this is a stitch you're creating and we're gonna do this about seven to 10 times. We're gonna do a total of 10 pleats today. So remember we sold the two panels together, that's five panels, or excuse me, five pleats per panel. And so it's gonna be a total of 10 pleats. When you're done securing your stitch, you're gonna open up the inside of the curtain, create a loop, so do not pull the thread all the way through, and then you're gonna take your needle and go inside that loop once, inside that loop twice, and this is gonna create a small little knot to secure the end of your thread. And then we're gonna sew another small stitch about two inches below it, again, starting from the inside of your curtain. and then going through all three pleats. So pulling the thread all the way through and then bringing it back towards you, pulling it tight and creating a stitch. And again, about seven to 10 times you're gonna do that. As you can see, the pleat is already starting to look like a pleat. So exciting. So once you're done with your pleat, same thing. You're gonna take your needle and just create a loop and then just go through it once and go through it twice and then just pull it tight all the way through. And again, that tightens and secures the knot of the thread. So now that we're done with our first pleat, we're gonna do the same thing where the rod pocket would go through those slots, as you can see here, one and two. We're gonna line those up, fold it in half, and then create three small pleats. And sometimes it takes a minute just to get those three small pleats even. You just have to play with it a little bit. And I always hold it in my left hand to secure it, and then I use the needle and thread in my right to pull through, and then secure all three pleats. And I just repeat these steps until I am completely done.
Next, I'm gonna take some drapery hooks, and where I made the pleats, that's where I'm gonna take the end of the hook and put it right between the pleat. Sometimes it's a little challenging just to get the hook in there, but it definitely is worth it because it gives the curtains a more polished look once you put them on the rings. Then I'll be using drapery rings. I just removed the little clamp and just use the drapery ring and little hook. Next, we're gonna add the drapery rings to our rod and then with the drapery hooks, that's how we're going to hook on the drapery to the rod. And after we get all of the drapery hooked on to the rings, down on the bottom, I'm gonna use straight pins to keep the hem in place for our drapery. And as you can see in the back, that's what it looks like. It's a nice thick hem. And then I'm gonna remove the curtains from the hooks and then just use some iron-on tape to secure the hem in place. And after we're done ironing on the tape, we're just gonna rehang the curtains and then we are done. You guys, I had such fun making this video. If you guys would like to see more everyday DIY videos, please give this video a thumbs up.